Okay, so here I've got my final baked scene. Everything's been baked down to uh, just their texture maps. So we've got a simplified shader for everything. And these are using the 16-bit PNGs. And it's probably good to check, just make sure everything baked right, and everything looks good. So, um, now what you can do, I think, is, uh, let me try this. I want to triangulate, but keep normals. Triangulate, keep normals. Uh, triangulate, keep normals. And then just export this as a new OBJ. Uh, let's call it this. And triangulate. Angulated geometry, um, apply modifiers, yes, write normals, yes, include UVs, yes, write materials, uh, whatever. Triangulate faces, no, we're gonna let the modify do, do that because it keeps the normals and export OBJ. And there we go, and now we can uh, let's convert these into our 8 bit sort of a more game ready textures, I guess. So I'm just gonna open up GIMP. And let's um, let's open our folder, and I think it's in texturing, final bakes. So these are the images we want to compress. So I don't know if there's a more automatic way to do this, but this is just how I do it. So I'm going to create two folders, um, eight the PNGs. And actually, I'll just call it 8 bit and I'll put them all in the same folder. Rename 8 bit uh, textures. Alright, then I like to just drag in. And you can see we're at 16 bit, so we can go to image precision 8 bit and uh, make sure we have dithering on. I just use the default um, Floyd Steinberg method and then just export it as. I like to do one PNG with just uh, no compression and then I also like to export as Targa and then you can do RLE compression that's a lossless compression format so if we look up uh, Targa RLE Targa image right here. See, RLE is a lossless compression. All right, so now we just got to do that for the rest of these. Um, and I'll speed through that with the, I guess, with editing. Okay, so I've got all of our images converted down to 8-bit textures, so you can see the, the targas are smaller files too. So let's, um, like for example the targa metal is significantly smaller. So let's just save this and we'll see if everything worked fine. And if we can prepare to put it on Sketchfab, so we'll import our OBJ and make sure we grab the triangulated one. Okay. And then if we put on. Alright, so we want to. It uh, obviously wrote the materials wrong, so we can just delete that MTL file. I never really understand how these MTL files work, but let's just re-import file, file import wavefront obj. All right, then we can 
throw in our textures. So this will be the receiver. I don't know, I don't think you can drag them all in at once. Yeah, you can't. All right, so just drag them in. At all. One more. Spec. All right, set everything to non-color except for albedo. And then just plug them in. Rough to rough. Uh, metal to metal. Spec to spec. And then normal through a normal map. And let's just order these. So it's nicer to look at. And then we'll do the same thing with this. So that's the mag, mag albedo, mag metal, mag normal, mag rough, mag spec. Alright, albedo needs to be sRGB and everything else non-color. Alright, spec to spec, metal to metal, normal during normal map, and roughness to roughness, and albedo to albedo, and then just clean everything up. So. like that and then we'll grab the sites um, site albedo emit metal normal roughness spec so now the emission and the albedo should be srgb and everything else needs to be non-color all right color to color spec to spec Oh, whoops, I'm importing the wrong ones. Um, Alright, well, with some editing, hopefully we can just skip through this.
Alright, so now our final 8-bit images look really good. You could throw this in your engine. Um, if you were going to throw it in an engine, you might want to optimize the UVs a little more. So like, uh, this shouldn't have maybe as much space if you're only going to see it from this view, you know, things like that. But this is a good result and we can put this up on Sketchfab um, and it'll give us some nice renders. Alright, um, I think that's the end of this episode. Uh, I might briefly do like rendering next, so I'll see you in that one. But yeah, we're basically to the very, very end.